back to me watch a movie. I'm Mike. He's Jay. And I'm High Voice Jay. What? Don't be like High Voice Jay. Don't be like that. Ah! Evil Dead 2. I'll only do that in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Evil Dead Dus Dust Dose Machine. Um, Evil Dead 2, it's, it's all, it's Evil Dead 2, but it's also a remake of Evil Dead 1, in a weird yeah, way. Yeah, it is weird. Retells the story of Evil Dead 1, kind of updates it, they have more money to work with, and, um, overall, this movie is fucking badass, bodacious niceness. It is. They really pumped up the, uh, comedic aspect of it on purpose, you can yeah. tell. Well, for me, this movie is a weird thing for me because the first time I watched Evil Dead 2, I bought it from like a pawn shop. Yeah. And it was the first time I did it. I know, I, didn't, I hadn't seen Evil Dead 1 yet. And I popped it in. I, I just bought Evil Dead 2 and I popped it in the, in, the, in the DVD player. And someone had fucked with the DVDs and they put Evil Dead 1 in the Evil Dead 2 case that I had. Oh. So I watched it. So for years, I walked around like a fucking jackass talking to people and I was like, Evil Dead 2 is way scarier than Evil Dead 1. I <laughs> want you to I want you I to know. go back to remedial school. I know. I know. I know. I know. I don't like the beginning of it. I, I don't. I will say that first off. I don't like how they... Because it was a different studio. They couldn't use the same stuff from the same one. And like you said, it was a remake. But from the start, I, thought, I felt it was confusing. I was like, I don't... we already been here. What's happened? Everything's yeah. changed. So much stuff is different. I didn't like the beginning retread of the first movie, personally. But that's not to say... Yeah. I, I got a lot to say about this movie. Don't get me wrong at all. My favorite thing... Mm -hmm. Is that this is the birth of Ash? Right, Ash didn't oh, exist in the first movie. Exactly. This is the birth of Ash. He, as soon as he starts, the way he talks to his girlfriend, the way he interacts with her, he's Ash from the get go, and it's the birth of that character. Well, I do like that they didn't spend too much time on the demon being awoken and coming after the girlfriend because it happens pretty quick. I think it was yeah. like 20 minutes in the film. This is where Bruce Campbell is like, I'm gonna take this character and make it my own, make it fit my personality traits, and Sam Raimi's like. Fuck yeah, bro. I'm just gonna say it right now. Bruce Campbell got fucked he in did. Hollywood. That guy should have been doing huge fucking movies. He could have been doing anything. I think that guy had huge chops. Even though this movie is so full of parody and so full of jokes and so over the top, overacting on purpose, I really think watching him in this movie, it's like, dude, you are classically, he looks like a classically trained actor from the movies you would see in the 70s. Well, that's what Sam Raimi always said about I can't help it. I, Sam it Raimi, feels that way. Sam Raimi did say that about him. They said that if Bruce Campbell had been maybe you know, maybe known the right people or maybe went after a certain kind of roles, mm -hmm. he would have been picked, but he was pitched out in these kind of movies. But you know what? Thank God for Bruce Campbell for doing these kind of movies because there's nobody else that could really pull off what he did with what he had to work with. But Sam Raimi, the way that he shot certain scenes, like when he finally hooks up his fucking hand to the chainsaw, the way they shot that, like, quick little scenes, I felt like I was watching Robocop. It's like... <laughs> When he's, yeah. he's like Ruby. I mean, he's like, there you go, Duke, Duke Nukem. It's How do you such, like it? This this movie hits a weird plane that no other movie's ever hit before, and that's why it's like it's like that weird, like amazing uh, camera work by Sam Raimi. It's like I, I, you don't see that in any other movie no. that exists. The weird, the the quick zooms, the way that he does his shots, it's always way on top or way below, yeah. so that you feel like you're in the moment with him. You got this Three Stooges crazy shit where he's smashing plates on his hand, his hand gets cut off, and he's shooting at the hand, and then the blood starts shooting through the wall at him. That whole intersect of the movie when he starts laughing and the, and the lamp's oh, laughing that's great. and the fucking deer's laughing, one of the greatest scenes in movie history for me, it's never been touched, like there's never been a scene like that for me. It was so crazy and the movie hit its stride and to me, the middle part of Evil Dead 2 is one of the greatest moments of horror cinematic history. It really doesn't really level off, it just is always this extra thing you don't always have. And, and then there are scenes like when you talk about Birds of Ash, when he's like, when the girl shoots at him after he becomes possessed, which, you know, in canon, in the whole Evil Dead series, he's able to work himself back from it. That's the only, he's the only one that I've ever known to be able to push the demon out of him. Yeah. But once he does that, uh, he's like, you know, the girl's shooting at him, and he's like, I'm me. Like, it just looks like, it's fucking Ash. It's, that, that is when Ash is becoming Ash. This whole movie is this weird interjectory space in the in between of Evil Dead and Army of Darkness. It's a touch of both movies. And yeah, you're missing the scary stuff. This movie is not as scary as the first Evil Dead in my opinion by far. 
And, and the creatures, uh, to me, even though they had a bigger budget, the creatures and the, and the mask and the makeup didn't look as good to me as they did in the first one. They were very, very puppetish in this one. And then there's these really kind of corny cut shot scenes. But it's way funnier. It's got way more entertainment. And it's got the most classic Evil Dead scenes. When, that, when Henry had a stretch his neck, I always thought, like, that was Big Bird when he didn't get his extra It was role. terrible, but it it's still like fun. Street. But it is. It's fun. And it's like, you know, swallow your soul whole, all the fucking great lines. It's all there. This movie, I think, far exceeds the first one. I'm probably giving this movie a 9.5. Wow. So you like Evil Dead way I, more than Evil Dead. I, I love Evil Dead 2 way more than Evil Dead. See, I, I'm a little bit different. I, I, if, you, if, you, if you pressure me and you put a gun to my head, Brad Pitt, Fight Club, tomorrow your cereal's never going to taste the same. But it'll be hotter. And, and you said, I would say um, Evil Dead 1, personally. Because see, I like, I like the fact right that now, it scared but, me. But see right now, you're Edward Norton. <laughs> I'm gonna punch you in the face. I like that it scared me. Is one of the very few movies in cinematic history. There's not, to me, there's not a single other movie out there like it. This is one of a kind. Oh, no, no doubt. You cannot get the feeling of watching Evil Dead 2 from watching any other movie oh. out there. And I absolutely love and adore this movie. And it's hilarious. And it's the birth of Ash. And it's 9.0 for me too. What do you guys, your opinion between Evil Dead 1, That's Evil horrible. Dead 2, make your choice? Test your mind. Choose your pleasure, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Until next time, guys, I'm Mike He's Jay. The intro, the mask, the glory, all that's brought to you from Halloween wholesalecostumes.com. I probably said it wrong. If I did, all of their shit is in the description box below, and you can get this awesome shit that you saw here there. Are you Please not entertained? Check them out. Once. Hus we're, on, we're on local. Hus Husbands. To a murdered wife. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie.